Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase part two of my Matchbox Sneak Peeks video. If you remember part one, whenever I'm actually, it's Saturday at the Matchbox Gathering in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm sitting here discovering the 2025 models. There might even be some 2024, I'm noticing. But Abe and the Matchbox design team gave this to me to look at and to film quickly for you guys before they prepare it for the sneak peek uh, presentation tonight, which I will have already live streamed, so you, you will already know what this is. But right now, I don't. So the part one, I was just pulling out castings in various forms of completion, like the Citron. Um, that one's pretty much done, but it doesn't have the deco. But this one does, uh, the field car. I even have like the Toy Toyota Tacoma uh, in its, uh, in its with the new Matchbox artwork. So part one, you can check all that out. This is just the other side of the case. And so we're gonna go through these. I'll try and go as quickly as I can. Um, I've got my list. Some stuff might fall out like that. Um, I have my list that they gave me. And then I'll do a part three, which will be moving parts. And if that goes long, that'll be part four as well. So let's just get right to it. Why don't we just start with this thing that fell out? I'm gonna move the camera up a little closer. And here we go. This is obviously an existing casting, but this one is done in a new deco. It's kind of cool. This is a SpaceX deco on the, uh, turn this around, on the Tesla Model X. This may have been showcased by Matchbox. We're going to see some existing models, it looks like, from what I can see here. But let's just get right to it. So there is that. That is the Tesla Model X in uh, SpaceX deco. I do think I have a repeat here. And we'll just, if it is, we'll just go. I already showed this is actually a riveted version of the Acura. So this is how it works. We're just going, and uh, that is that. Um, we showed when it was sealed by rubber band. This is actually a riveted version of the 1997 Acura Integra. We'll put it on the turntable as well. Why not? Uh, this is not the right color, not the right interior. Obviously, no details on it, but we will see that. We've already seen it in part one, so I'll just move on from there. We've seen the Radical. I'll put it on the turntable because it's actually out now uh, from 2024. 2024 Radical. So that's just a really quick, we'll just do that quickly and then let's look and see. So yeah, some of these are 2024s. Ooh, here's the Lexus. This is sweet. This looks like it's pretty much done. Looking at my list, I know there was, I saw a Lexus on here. Why don't I just look at the, ch at the chassis? Lexus LC500. This looks sweet. Look at the grill on that. Look at the details. This thing's done beautifully. Obviously, this thing's going to come out very quickly, I would assume, because it is done. So I assume that's going to be mix A of 2025, or close to it, because it looks done, and it looks great. I've always liked the lines on this one, and I do like the kind of Cylon Battlestar Galactica front grill of these Lexus, and that looks pretty awesome. All right, there is that. Wow, we're in a... Um, yeah, we've got some we've got some repeats, but that's what we're doing because I'm just discovering as we go We've already seen the completed version of the charger. I'll put this one on. We've seen it in a rubber band We've seen now it's riveted here and there it is in its completed form so we can just kind of move on from that I won't waste too much of your time This is a train and I don't know too much about it I'm just gonna put it on the turntable says Mattel, it looks like it's unlicensed, and that says Hogwarts, right? That says Hogwarts. So this is clearly Harry Potter related, and I don't know much more than that, but I assume that it's going to be the Hogwarts train, so why don't I just pull, I'll put this up here. Well, you can't see it, I'm actually off camera. Yep, so we got a train. So that's the, so I'll put this on the turntable too. These wheels do turn. See that? Wow, they did the Harry Potter train, that's cool. I know they've done the Harry, the Harry Potter Ford, and so here's the Hogwarts Express, right? Is that what it's called? I'm just trying to remember off offhand. And then, oops, and then it looks like you can connect. Yeah, like that. So, that looks cool. Hogwarts Express. Moving on. This is that Citron, isn't it? Oh no, it's a Fiat. Look at that. All right, looking at my list, I wonder if this is a, this might be a 2024. 
but here's the it's the Fiat Topolino. Might be an EV. Some sort of like little just drivable like little cruiser. I don't know too much about it. I'm just looking at it. This might be 20. It's not on the 2025 list. I don't see it. But uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> All right. See, here's the narrative. There it is. There is the finished version of the Acura Integra. That's what you will have seen. So again, this is how it works. Now we know it's going to be white with white rims and it's going to be a hit. I know we've seen we've seen the um, RLC version from Hot Wheels, but now we get a one dollar stock version from Matchbox, and that looks awesome. So when you see part one, you're going, John, we saw the white one, and I'm gonna. And at that point, I didn't know, but now you do. I do. There it is, and it looks fantastic. All right, so there we go. There we go. We have the completed version. This is clearly a BMW. If you look at the front grille, looking at the list here, we know we're doing the M2. Yep, 7 Series, 2024 7 Series. That's what I thought. There is an early 3D print of the 7 Series. Looking good, looking big enough. Doesn't have to look too small. Sometimes with these bigger cars, they, you know, they have to play with what fits in the blister. And sometimes they do come off looking a little small, but this one does not. Nice seeing them. BMW's winning. BMW's totally winning. 318i, 7 Series, and the M2. I'm pretty stoked. All right, classic truck. Oh, here's, here's an old friend. Going moon eyes. How cool is this? I love this casting. This is the GMC. It's been around forever since I think like 2008 or 2009. It's the uh, GMC Stepside 1957. And love that it's going moon eyes deco. That makes perfect sense. And I'm pretty stoked to see it. Absolutely stoked to see a Moon Eyes version of that truck. I am thrilled. Because you know I love Moon Eyes. I think most of you do. And uh, that doesn't make me unique by any means. But seeing that deco is pretty sweet. Here's another existing casting coming in some sort of... Oh, that M. Is this, would this be a Chase? This is obviously the Defender 110. I don't know, maybe it's just the Matchbox logo. I don't know. I'm not going to try and claim anything. This could possibly be a chase. Well, no, it doesn't It doesn't say Super Chase on it because I think we have a Super Chase right there. We'll get to that. Um, so I don't think this is Super Chase. So I take that back. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But it's like a Matchbox Deco with the topography map on uh, on the side of this Land Rover. So that looks kind of cool for the Land Rover fans. And there's a lot of them. All right, let's keep going. Discovery. This is something new. I think I saw this in the list. Uh, it's a boat. And there's a base on it, and there's a words on it. This is the Coast to Coast. So obviously an unlicensed, like, I guess that'd be like a yacht, right? Put it on the turntable so you can look at it. Obviously it's not done yet, just in raw metal form. Uh, it will have kind of that metal chassis portion of it, but that's, you know, that would be like the body of a normal die-cast car. So there's the boat. And here's something else. What is this? Well, I guess we can look at the bottom. It doesn't say on the bottom because there's not enough real estate there. But if I think, I know I saw something. Mini sight dumper. That's what this is. Mini sight dumper. Oh, so this would be the front. It looks like the way the seat is situated, the uh, dump portion is in the front of this dumper. It's not in the back. That's cool. I love the utility stuff and not stuff I collect, but I love when Matt, I love Matt Matchbox doing it. They should continue to do it. All right. Oh, this looks like the second version of the C10. This could be a red edition. One of the Matchbox Target exclusives. I could be wrong, but it kind of looks that way, doesn't it? Looks nice. We had that kind of teal green version, so now we have this one. Maybe for maybe for 2024, maybe for 2025. I'm not entirely sure. But that's nice and clean. I dig that. Next one. Oh, so this one was in. This is the Mercedes-Benz. Ah, that's a moving part. So you get a little preview of a moving part. Happened to go in here. Uh, opening doors. This is the EV version, right? Uh, yeah, the EQ technology. 2024 Mercedes-Benz G580 with EQ technology. Has the opening door. 
Obviously it has that really cool kind of EV looking grill of the G-Wagon. That's clean. That's clean. I like it. And I think blue version for the that was sold on RLC, right? And now they have this matte black version, which is pretty sweet. So I'm digging that. Let's keep going. Ladder truck. Let me move this plastic out of the way. I got a big pile of bubble wrap here. Obviously a ladder truck. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we got it on the base. Blaze Blaster with a moving ladder. There it is. Obviously, I assume this will debut in red with some chrome trim or something. But there you get a sense of what this is going to look like. I, it doesn't look like it will have an interior probably because it has, for budgeting, they had to do the ladder piece. I don't mind that on these kind of castings. Some people do, and I get it. I don't. All right, I'm getting a sense now. Now we see another C10. So I think the C10 comes in gold next year. Ooh, look at the back. Looks good. Um, and then I'm assuming we saw the red edition, uh, you know, red Target exclusive of this as well. So now there's a little hint of that that we're putting together. Jag, just your standard. This is this casting has been around forever. 2006, I think, is when it debuted. Yes, it's 2005 here. Jag, 1961 Jag E type. Nice to see this one continuing on. It's always been a favorite of collectors. And this one gets a little racing deco, which is nice. There is nothing in this one. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this might be another one that we had an early version of, and now we get this color. Oh, we've seen this one before. This is the Citron, isn't it? No, so, oh, no, this is new. So this is the Ford Explorer BEV. In the last video, we did the early version of this one. Now we get the completed version of this one. So the narrative continues. This is the one that maybe they're going to preview. I'm just going with what I see. So that one looks nice. There's your first version. Yeah, the silhouettes look very similar to me on all the EVs. That's to be expected. So take that for what it is. This one I've seen. I think I actually have done a sneak peek on this one. It's the uh, Pathfinder, right? We've already seen this one. So this one may be out already, but uh, this one got in there as well. And I don't think it's been out in like stores of yet. I think it's just in some early previews we've seen that one, as have we seen this one, the Morgan. So this is the Morgan plus four. I think this is, yeah, I've previewed this one because I really like the front grill on that one. I think it's done really, really well. But that Morgan is super cool. And then, yeah, so maybe this is a, well, let's just do this one. We've seen, we haven't seen the completed version. So this one will probably, looks like it's going to start in Collector. Uh, this is, you know, we've seen Hot Wheels release ones at the same time. The Aston Martin V8 Vantage, the Matchbox does look pretty darn cool in blue. I think no, no James Bond tie-in, just a really cool classic Aston Martin, and I think that's a great version of that casting, so we can take a look at that. It does have some weight to it, but I do think that's a plastic chassis. I do think it is, but it's a heavy car, really heavy car. And last but not least, looks like we have a Super Chase preview. Super Chases are getting pretty popular, and this is the uh, Audi R8. I'll have to make sure I find this one because I love this casting and I collect them all. 2007 Audi R8, great casting. Done in orange, pretty standard. SC means Super Chase, orange coloring, and then it has the top stripe, which looks nice, and then it has the Real Rider tires done on the five-spoke wheels. Oh, we are done. That's well, two parts. You guys tell me what you think. I think this is pretty sweet. Um, the highlights for me, having done this entirety, this is number one highlight for me, the BMW M2. It's just a favorite car, so this is just a personal preference. I think that one is rad. Um, I think the BMW 318i, wherever that is, let me find it. Yeah, I mean, really early version, so we'll see how this one develops. I'm really excited about that. Uh, I think this is just a well-done new casting, the Citron. Um interesting one of existing castings super excited about the moon eyes um, this is the one that i think has some real significance is the mc12 the maserati seen maserati back in mattel and then yeah i i'm a sucker for these kind of cars and as is everyone and i know oh it's the same stuff but yeah those are pretty sweet you guys tell me what you think tell me what you're most excited about Thank you, uh, Abe and the Matchbox team, for letting me do this. i got to pack these up and get back to them um, so they can start preparing for tonight. We're in this like weird time warp 
me doing this before, but it's you're seeing this after and blah, blah, blah. So I discovered them after you already know. You get it. Thanks, everybody. Part three coming. Bye.